And then you don't remember what the main event was, Brian? I was getting off. tired. I'm sure as soon as you say it, I'll remember why I don't remember it. What was the there event? was there was Mark Henry's second appearance on the split screen. Now here it was fine. They were already in the show, and whatever they did, they were not going to make this match coming up any more exciting or uh, increase the anticipation level. They could have dipped these guys in nuclear uranium and radioactive isotopes they could have set them on fire they could have launched them into space on a space shuttle they could have done whatever they were not going to slow down or speed up the momentum of the show either one at this point so they had a split screen with none other than starks hobbs and hook and starks's opponent brian cage i remember now yes you remember now and they had a match that they announced as no count out, no disqualification, anything goes for the FTW title in a Philly street fight. Ricky Starks versus get my rotten looking shit in Brian Cage himself. And I wrote to quote the late great Percy Pringle, oh sweet Jesus no. And this is the one I didn't watch. And that was the show. So you went to sleep on it, and I ignored it on purpose. I was dozing off by that point. I love Ricky Starks. I love Team Taz. Brian Cage really just doesn't do it for me. And I thought they were done with Brian Cage, actually, because I thought they were I thought they were doing something with Punk. I don't have any idea, but... Hold, I, on, I, is, I, hold on, is Punk done with Team Taz? Well, I don't know. I guess you'd have to ask him, wouldn't you? Hey, maybe CM. He feels, maybe he feels like that his win over Powerhouse Hobbs validated his opinion in their disagreement. But I, I don't even I didn't even not watch this because I knew Cage was gonna stink, because I like Ricky Starks. I didn't watch this because Philly Street Fight, no DQ, no count out. Furniture, chairs, chains, bottles, rocks, bricks, sticks, pots, pans, tin cans. I do not want to see any more of that. I feel that's what you see at a wrestling show when you go to the concession stand now. The concession stand employees are hitting each other over the head with the chairs and the tongs and what? the spatulas. <laughs> it's that common. You go to the bathroom. You're in the bathroom. You're trying to take a piss or maybe take a Russo. And and all of a sudden, people break out into a brawl with, with plungers and, and plumbing implements and goddamn toilet paper. It's a goddamn, what the fuck? This, it's a novelty now when guys have an entire match hand to hand with no gimmicks, no foreign objects. You know, like Valter and Elia, the guys that had the best two matches of the last two years. Guys like that. But anyway, no, I didn't watch this football bat phony fucking bullshit on the, the, in the main event of that program. Well, I can't really tell you anything else about it other than to say I know that there were mixed reviews. Some people thought that you have to enjoy this match, and some people thought that if you didn't enjoy this match, you must be nuts. Well, you've said it completely wrong because you've just said the same thing. You said if you had, didn't enjoy God this match, it. you must be nuts. But if you in, enjoyed it, you said it the other way around. You know what? Go back and listen to the tape because we're going to leave it in because I love the yeah. way you fucked that up. Oh, thank you. And uh, and we'll just see uh, exactly how you just did a double negative there. But folks, if you're nuts, if you're not just scratching your nuts, if you want to actually put those nuts in your mouth and suck on them good, baby, because I'll tell you what, they're healthy and nutritious oh, yeah, and yeah. delicious and salty. Put them in your mouth and suck on them. The folks at Nuts.com, they are no longer the best-kept secret of savvy snackers across the country. Yeah. They're not a secret at all. Yeah. yeah. got it. They're not a secret at all because, for heaven's sake, we've told you about them. But Nuts.com has the plethora of high-quality, delicious snacks, the white chocolate toffee cashews that they sent me for my birthday, bourbon pecans, crystallized ginger, honey sesame sticks. They've got candies, dried fruits, and baking mixes, and pasta, delicious, healthy nuts, dried fruit, flowers, grains, all the raw, organic, roasted, salted, and candied nuts that you can imagine, even chocolate-dipped. Put them in your mouth and suck on them. 
the dried strawberries. We've been sucking a lot here lately. Nuts.com is a family-run business that takes pride in getting you the freshest items. The delivery is so fast, most of your orders ship the same day. They come the next day. Stuff is fresher than the supermarket. It's gluten. They, they have gluten-free options. They have vegan options. They have all kinds of tasty options. And the best part about it is you will satisfy the whole family. Because, well, Brian, for example, your, your lovely kids, they love the, the, the fruits, and your wife loves your nuts. So you've got the whole family happy there. Folks, if you go to nuts.com, that's N-U-T-S, nuts.com. It sure is. It sure is. If you go to nuts.com, you'll get free shipping on your first order when you text the word experience to 64,000. That's six, four, and three zeros. Text the word experience to 64,000, and you will get free shipping on your first order from nuts.com. Terms apply. Available at nuts.com slash terms. And we love the nuts around here. We're just constantly, we're, we're carrying our nuts around. We're tasting our nuts. We're feasting on our nuts. We're just checking to make sure our nuts are still there in, in the last manner and the castle cornet. The first thing we think about in the morning and the last thing we think about when we go to bed at night is our nuts. 